Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting opportunity for jobs with visa sponsorship for nurses and carers. And this opportunity comes with visa sponsorship for you to either relocate to the UK or if you are in the UK, you can take up this opportunity with visa sponsorship. And that's not all. This opportunity also comes with visa arrangements, flight costs and accommodation. But don't take my word for it. Let's jump into my computer and we look at it right now. Let's go. Okay, guys. So as you can see, the opportunity is clearly written on here is UK overseas nurses and carers opportunity to relocate with work visa sponsorship. And where is it based? In Macclesfield, United Kingdom. And here you have the job description. But before we continue with the job description, Let's confirm what I just said now. Does this job actually come with visa arrangements and flight costs and accommodation? Let's find out. So right here you have what we offer. Okay. Competitive relocation package. Guys, I didn't even mention that, but you can clearly see it is included. Let's read on. Our relocation package is designed to cover all the essentials including certificate of sponsorship which most of you know as the course visa arrangements that is visa application assistance until your visa is approved and you are in the uk you also have flight costs that will be met by the employer and accommodation arrangement and as a matter of fact if you are a nurse there are also additional benefits. Let's just look at those also before we proceed. So if you are a nurse, there's also a benefit of OSCE training and support. And they say, for NMC pre-registration nurses, we offer comprehensive OSCE training, exam booking, and travel arrangements. This ensures that you are well prepared and supported throughout your registration process. Another thing they offer is exceptional pastoral support. And they say, from the moment you arrive in the UK, our dedicated internal team will provide you with exceptional support to help you settle in comfortably. We prioritize your well being and aim to make you transition as smoothly as possible i think guys you have seen that i didn't lie at the beginning of this video because in this channel i try as much as possible to bring you factual information even though i also know that not everyone who applies gets it but one thing is for sure you cannot get it if you don't apply so guys if you are going to take up this opportunity please leave a comment under the comment section saying i'm going to apply while others are still asking questions of doubt whether or not this exists, you make sure that you run and run and apply. By the time they apply and come back and complain that, oh, I applied but they didn't take me, when you are smiling yourself all the way to the UK. So let's continue. So now let's look at the job description and see which kind of nurses or carers they are looking for. So that when you are applying, you are sure that you meet the person's specifications because this is very important if you are to increase your chances of success. Let's move on. So here you can see job description. Are you an eager healthcare profession looking for fresh chances overseas? Recruiting compassionate healthcare professionals from around the world, our dedicated team recruit, sponsor, and relocate both nurses and carers who are already living in the UK and from overseas this is also something i mentioned at the beginning whether you are within or you are without the uk you can still apply please don't come to the comment section and say i'm from such and such a country can i also apply yes you can apply or some of you say but for me i'm already in the uk can i also apply i have said right now yes you can apply just check if you meet the requirements and then you apply and the requirements is what we are going to look at next but before we look at the requirements if you find this value useful at all please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed 
you are surely going to miss out on opportunities like this please make sure that you hit that subscribe right now and join this family and also consider joining my membership because by the time you are watching this video my members would have watched it much much earlier and probably they will take up the opportunity before you but nonetheless the vacancies are many so you can still apply don't lose hope having said that let's continue so right here you can see if you are interested here is how you can get started the first thing you must do is to check the requirements so these are the requirements for nurses for nurses ensure you meet the english language requirements which can be demonstrated through a secure english language test CELT, relevant qualifications or an academic degree level qualification taught in english and for clarity's sake many countries actually teach in medical school using english but technically that qualification is not recognized in the uk as a qualification taught in english except qualifications that are obtained from countries that are predominantly english speaking so if your qualification is not from a country which is predominantly english speaking please make sure you take the english proficiency test or if you have it then you are ready to apply then they also say before joining you must meet the english requirement of the nmc and talking about nmc if you don't know how to register with the nmc please make sure that you watch this video here because in that video i explained step by step on how you can get registered with the nmc up to the point you can take your cbt and be ready to do the oski that these employers are talking about that they will support you to do when you come to the uk because you obviously know the oski is done in the uk so if you are watching this video and you haven't yet started that process of registering with the nmc you can simply share it with those who will benefit but to make sure that you don't miss future opportunities make sure you get started by watching that video that i have just talked about let's continue so the other thing that you must make sure is that you have passed the cbt exam which is part one of the nmc test of competence then also you will be required to take a tb test obviously because if you are coming with a skilled worker visa that means that you're going to stay in the uk for more than six months anyone coming to stay in the uk for more than six months will be required to take a tb test unless if you are from a country that is exempt and you can check that information online but for now let's continue so the next thing before you start working is that you'll be required to take your oski test so on an arrival in the uk you'll be required to pass part two of the nmc test of competence which is the oski this test can be completed at any one of the five approved test centers located around the uk but as i mentioned earlier you will be supported to do this so you don't need to worry about that so how about the carers so for carers review the specific requirements for carers both from overseas and the uk so here are your specifications before joining us you must meet the english language requirement you can prove your knowledge of english either by passing a CELT or secure english language test from an approved provider or you can obtain a gcse a level a scottish national qualification either level four or five scottish higher or advanced higher in english gained through a study at a uk school when aged under 18. and also you can do that by having an academic degree level qualification that was taught in english but taught in english means the same thing as i explained under the nursing requirement if you studied abroad you will need to apply through the ECTIS formally you can read for confirmation that your qualification is equivalent to a uk bachelor's master's degree or phd so that involves acquiring a comparability certificate so once you have all that ready then you are ready to apply but before you apply there are actually some guidelines of what you must actually include in your application so let's look at it also quickly before we take a look at how you are going to apply for this particular opportunity so here they say include in your application a cover letter i have not covered yet how to write a good cover letter 
but maybe if I get enough interest, I might make a video on how to write a good UK cover letter. If you guys are interested in something like that, please let me know under the comment section, then I'll consider it if I see there is enough interest. But for now, let's continue. So after the cover letter, you must take a beautiful photo of you taken in a clean background. Of course, here they are referring to the photo, not you as a person, because beautiful normally would refer to a female, but here they are referring to a photo, a clean photo in a clean background, basically a plain background without anything like decoration or things like that. And then you must indicate the position you are applying for in bold with your nationality at the top and your current location as well. So if you are applying from Uganda, you say, from Uganda if you're applying from the UK you can say you are applying from the UK as your current location but you are from say Nigeria or Ghana India Pakistan South Africa Jamaica Somalia wherever you are applying from then you should include all the certificates obtained related to a health field on your resume that one is self-explanatory I'm not going to say anything more about that then they give you a warning here if your CV doesn't meet our requirements we won't process it don't send messages on whatsapp or our other emails for this job we won't respond please take this instruction seriously so that you don't miss out because of things like that so once you have met all that you can just simply come here and click apply so once you click apply it will bring you to this part so here you will just fill in your details, of course, your email, your phone number, and then here. So here you are actually going to write your cover letter. The good news is that there is no word limit here. So all you need to do is to go straight to the point and make sure it's precise and concise and specific to that role and to the company. So this part is where you are going to attach your CV, also known as the resume. So for that, you just browse as you. Then you, you find the location of your CV and then you can attach it. Of course, I'm not going to do that because I'm not applying. Then you come and agree to the terms and conditions and then you submit. And once you have done that, then you have successfully applied. And with that, I would like to say, don't forget to share this video with all those that might benefit. I wish you success. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.